Jesse V. And today we're gonna to be talking about something called the snowman ritual. I tried to say that creepy, but. I don't know if it worked. So this snowman ritual is said to be a peace and prosperity type of game or thing to do. It's supposed to be performed during the winter months in order to obtain protection of your home throughout the coming year. And this game slash ritual takes three days to perform. And basically, if you do it correctly and all things go well, this snowman is gonna protect your house for the rest of the year, okay? You're gonna be protected. Apparently, the earliest accounts of this game being played date back to the fourth century. Are you kidding me? Apparently this all started in Ukraine and Russia. You apparently have to do this in the days between Christmas Eve and New Year's Day. But other sources say you can really do this any time of the year as long as it's winter and as long as you have enough snow. This ritual works best for farmers and homeowners who keep animals or pets. But it says you can also do this if you're living in an urban apartment. But it might be harder to ensure that your snowman is not interrupted or disturbed during the three-day duration of this ritual. Because when you do this, everything has to go right or things will go very wrong. But they do say it's better to do this if you own a house. Now on the instructions of this game slash ritual, it literally says, warning, for your own safety, please read the entire document before attempting this ritual. And like I said, you have to follow the rules exactly or things will go very badly. So let's get into what exactly you will need if you want to do this snowman game thing. You will need snow coverage of at least three inches with temperatures near or below freezing over a three day period. So it's very, very specific. Two tree branches or wooden sticks, preferably forked at one end, obviously to look like a snowman's arm. You'll need string or rubber bands, plant material such as dead leaves or dried grass, vegetable oil such as canola or olive oil, something from an animal such as a piece of fur, a cluster of feathers, etc. without harming any animals. We don't do that. Scissors, a lock of your hair, and a drop of of your tears. Not too much to ask, right? Right? All right, so let's get into the instructions for day one, because like I said, this is gonna go over three days, so make sure you're ready. At the edge of your property, build a snowman. It must be at least as tall as you are. So it says to be sure to set aside a lot of time and energy to build this snowman because it's gonna be pretty big. It says you can ask your family or friends to help you so you don't have to do this all by yourself. It says ensure that the front of your snowman is facing away from your house. Use the tree branches on either side to form the snowman's arms, but do not give it a face just yet because all the face stuff comes later. At sundown, take the plant material and the vegetable oil and the string or rubber bands and walk out to the snowman that you built and place all of your plant material into its left hand and put a rubber band around it so it stays there. Then dip your finger into the vegetable oil and press your finger into the left side of its face and that's creating the left eye. As you do this, it says recite the following. Snowman, snowman, see my land. Hollowed soil on which we stand. Snowman, snowman, bless my home. Guide me back if I air roam. It says after you do this, return to your house and close all the curtains lock all the doors and it says make sure you go to bed before midnight. It says if you wake up in the middle of the night and hear any noises like shuffling or walking around or something outside your house. It says don't open your curtains, don't peek, stay in your bed and try to go back to sleep. The snowman is moving about your yard. It says the snowman is moving around your yard judging if your land and home is worthy. All right let's move on to day two. If you wake in the morning and the snowman has returned to its original position, Congratulations. That means your land and your home will be safe for the rest of the year. And if you wake up in the morning and your snowman is nowhere to be seen, it says leave your house and move somewhere far away. So obviously you want your snowman to still be in its original position. So on day two at sundown, take the animal material and the string or rubber bands out to the snowman. And then facing the snowman, put the animal fur or feathers or whatever it is into its right hand and secure it with the rubber band. Then press your finger into the right side of its face and that is its right eye. As you do this, recite the following. Snowman, snowman, see my herd. Pet and cattle, fish and bird. Snowman, snowman, bless my flock. Grow them grass from thorn and rock. Afterwards, just like the previous night, return to your house, close all the curtains, lock all your doors, and go to bed before midnight. If you wake up in the middle of the night and hear movement or shuffling inside your house this time, don't peek, don't leave your bedroom, and try to go back to sleep. It says the snowman is moving around your house, judging if the animals in your care 
are worthy. So the snowman is like looking at your pets like, do I want to protect you this year? I don't know. All right, let's move on to day three. This is the last day of this game. Once again, it says if you wake up in the morning and the snowman is outside in its original position, that means your pets will be protected for the rest of the year. Congratulations. But it says if you wake up in the morning and there's an inexplainable puddle of water near something your pet owns, like your dog's bed or your bird's cage, etc., it says you probably should look into pet insurance for the rest of the year. Oh my goodness. So on the third day at sundown, take the scissors and the vial of tears out to the snowman. It says dip your finger into your tears and create a mouth of the snowman. Then with the scissors, cut a small piece of your hair and stuff it into the snowman's mouth. As you do this, recite the following. Snowman, snowman, see my breath, drawing ever unto death. Snowman, snowman, bless my heart, judge me whole and hence depart. Once again afterwards, return to your home, close all your curtains, lock your door, and go to bed before midnight. This is the creepiest part. It says, if you wake in the night and feel a cold, dark presence in your room, do not open your eyes. The snowman is standing over you, judging if your soul is worthy. <laughs> So here's the conclusion of this whole game. It says, if you wake up in the morning, congratulations. So meaning, if you're still alive, good. And if the snowman has gone back out to its original position outside, it means you are worthy and everything in your life, yourself, your home, everything will be protected for the rest of the year. But there is a warning on these instructions. It says, warning, to date, there are no surviving accounts of what happens to someone who was judged as unworthy. Take from that what you will. And then apparently that night at sundown, it says, go over over to the snowman and approach it only from behind. Do not walk around to face it and demolish the snowman entirely, so completely destroy it. It says to break the tree branches as many times as possible and scatter the snow around the yard as evenly as you can. Make sure that no trace of this snowman remains. And you're supposed to say absolutely nothing while you're doing this whole thing. Once the snowman is demolished, the game is complete. It says enjoy your year of peace and prosperity. Use it well for when the days grow short and your, luck, and your luck runs thin, you may find yourself looking anxiously for the next deep snowfall. Oh, that's so creepy. Now, obviously this is all just a creepy pasta game. It's not real. I would never want to encourage anybody to do rituals and stuff like this. The only reason why I'm telling you this one specifically is because it's about a snowman and it's kind of silly. Like a snowman walking around your house, a snowman walking around your yard. I just want to make it known that I never encourage doing actual rituals and stuff like that. Only reading stuff for fun that you know is fake and is just a scary story. But anyways, guys, don't worry. Go out there, build snowman. Nothing is going to happen, but I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas. And don't forget if you would like any of the new unicorn pajamas or any of the Christmas stuff on the website, I have linked it down below. But I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!